Hello and welcome to Marine Connection. My name is Damien. We're at the water today and I'm going to be showing you a 2007 Sea Fox 257 center console powered by a Suzuki 225 four-stroke motor. The service department has done a mechanical inspection of the motor. Everything has checked out fine. It has a total of 200 hours on it. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to start at the back of the boat, show you the features and whatnot, uh, all the way up to the front of the boat, and then take it out for a quick ride to show you how the boat performs. Starting at the tramps, you'll see that we have two large swim platforms on either side, both on the starboard and port side. Recess boarding ladder over on the port side with the grab handle, easy access on and off the boat. Salt water wash down or raw water wash down. You do have access down to your batteries on, the, on both sides. The boat is equipped with dual batteries and switch. Center of the transom, you have a kill box on the top, cutting station, and then a large live well. At the deck, two large fish boxes on either side. And then gunnel tops, we have four mounted rod holders, combing bolsters running around, uh, running from the midship all the way to the back of the boat on the uh, gunnels there, and then under gunnel rod storage. Freshwater wash down, you can't see it on the video, but you'll see it in the pictures. Then we have this nice leaning post with a removable backrest and full rod rocket launcher. And as you can see, that we do have the chocks for a 48 quart cooler that would easily fit underneath the uh, leaning post. T tops equipped with spreader lights, four rod holders across the back. Canvas is in good condition, the aluminum's in good shape as well. You have your uh, stern light there. And then at the uh, console here, we do have our display of gauges, little glove box, tilt wheel, rocker switches for your accessories, and your rocker switches for the uh, uh, spreader lights on the boat. And then we also have a little tackle tray towards directly underneath the wheel. Coming towards the uh, front of the console here, we have this backrest right now. We also have a cooler seat with a cushion seat, but we don't have it on the boat at this time. But you're going to have a, an additional cooler seat up front. Over on the uh, port side of the console, you'll see it in the pictures. We do have access down below. There's a porta potty down there. Plenty of uh, seating room up front. And then underneath this casting deck or seats, you do have some additional storage. It is plumb, so you can rinse it out, clean it out, and then you have your anchor compartment. Nice high gunnels throughout the boat, nice high bow rail up on front for uh, added security. Um, you have a bow port put all the way forward and your running light. So that pretty much concludes it for the top side of the Sea Fox 257. Um, gel coat wise, the boat's in very good condition and uh, the upholstery on the combing bolsters and whatnot and on the leaning post, all that's in good shape. I mentioned the T-top already. Uh, let's fire it up, take it out for a quick ride, show you how she performs. Good to go.
concludes the uh, presentation on the 2007 Seafox 257. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the boat runs great, four-stroke motor, uh, very quiet, very efficient, uh, nice and powerful. Um, well, overall, boat's in good condition. Like I mentioned before, I did forget to mention that it has trim tabs. And, um, well, from West Palm Beach, Florida, my name is Damien. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or write me an email. God bless. Have a great day.